I think anybody that meets Nancy, the first impression is she is just kind. She is the nicest person you'll ever meet. Um, she is, she's just so thoughtful, so considerate, so um, focused on kids, focused on Glencrest, what's right for kids. And I mean, honestly, she's just the nicest person you'll ever meet. Nancy has a way about her that is just graceful. She always looks at the positive of every situation. She's incredibly thoughtful and goes out of her way to show care and concern for those around her. Nancy has taught at Glencrest over 20 years, almost 25, but really she's grown up here. Her family moved to Glen Ellen when she was just two years old. She attended Arborview for kindergarten and then Wagner School and then she began her lifelong journey at Glencrest. She attended in grades four through eight here. They bought a house right behind the school. She even did her student teaching here. Eventually, her three children attended Glencrest in all District 89 schools. And Nancy then taught Spanish here for 23 years. To say she's part of the District 89 family is a little bit of an understatement. She might be the matriarch. And when we talk about the staff being a family, it's because of people like Nancy. Nancy brings just that sense of caring, that sense of compassion, that no matter how busy and hectic our lives get as a middle school staff, she always, always takes the time to say thank you, to ask how you're doing. Nancy, that almost makes me tear up because Nancy is so irreplaceable. Um, she is such a, a team player. Um, she really wants to put others in the spotlight. She really wants others to um, be recognized for what they're doing. John Batiste will say something like, okay, we're going to tr try to do these um, fabulous forms and recognize some of the students. And Nancy will go out of her way to write zillions of fabulous forms for the staff members just so that they kind of get their um, time in the sun and there's in the spotlight. And it's really um, so incredible. I think Nancy is really good at making connections with kids. Um, you know, she's kind of soft spoken, but her class is just fun. She makes connections with kids. She's always looking for ways to make the curriculum more interesting. Um, this year, they adopted a brand new curriculum. The high school was making some changes. And, you know, in her final year here as a teacher, Nancy just took the bull by the horns and really looked into this curriculum, did research, and led her department to implementing a whole new curriculum. Um, you know, and it would have been pretty easy for her to, to leave that to go till, you know, next year, but that's not Nancy. Nancy's going to do what's, what's right for the kids. She is really kind to everyone, and she doesn't lose her temper, so it's, um, it's just relaxing to go in her class. Our class was a really, like, great group, so I'll miss having them. And it was fun because we had a lot of fun people, and then um, we had, like, really smart people to help us, um, and she brought everyone together. Dear and beloved Mrs. Egerton, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for the wonderful work you did. We are very grateful to have you as a teacher. With you, we have learned a lot of new and interesting things. Thank you for investing your knowledge, patience, work, and love. We will miss you very much. But it will be a lot different. It will be a lot different. Um, the foreign language department will tremendously miss Nancy's influence. We're going to miss that little bit of sunshine and, and brightness every day. Um, but she lives right behind the school, so I'm hoping she'll cross the parking lot and come visit us a lot. In retirement, Nancy and her husband, Jim, hope to travel and spend a ton of time with their three adult children, Brian, Dan, and Ellen. And of course, come November, they are welcoming in their new first grandchild. And I'm sure she's gonna to wanna to spend oodles of time with the new baby. My hope is that we'll continue to see Nancy walking in the neighborhood with her infectious smile and a nice wave as she walks by Glencrest. We wish her all the best in her retirement and we'll miss you, Nancy.